Okay guys, this is Rainbow145. I have some trucks to show you. I didn't get a chance to video them and put them up uh, under the mod because at the same time because I was trying to rush them. This is kind of a rush job because someone was wanting them and I kind of was going to do this but I just kind of put it off and I thought well that would be a good time to do it. So anyway, right off the bat, you have an F350 Ford uh, Durma or yeah, Duramax. It's a Duramax. Don't worry guys, it will break down. No. Ah, uh, it's a power stroke. But it has a funky start. I wanted the sound, but the start's a little long, and I'll jump in it and I'll show you. Okay, see, I'm holding my trigger down to go. Now it fades out. Now you can go. So, that's the problem. Uh, let's just drop this trailer right here and go. It's a little slow at the beginning and stuff, but it goes pretty fast. It, it'll go about 100 miles an hour if you can get it up there. If you can hear that turbo, it sounds pretty good. It'll pull basically anything you want, almost. If you notice the mirrors, you can see through them. Well, once you get in here, they're there. That one's messed up. I worked with it so many times, that I just got tired of messing with it. It's a stiff suspension. It is really... Uh, it has no spring at all. It hook up to goosenecks. It hook up to all trailers. Uh, it will take and hook up up here to the front right here. It'll have a hook up. You just can't see it, but you can go up to a trailer. You'll hook up to them. Uh, you have both of them back here on the hole. I just left that because a lot of trailers on farms have like this little half hook thing. You just drop a, a pin through it and it, yeah. Uh, and here's the gooseneck. Um, I just pretty much converted it over and got it to work right and changed sounds out and power everything. I mean, I credited who, well, the one I found, it was in the mod thing. Um, we have this one here and we have this truck here. So, the gauges don't work, the steering wheel turns. I had all kinds of problems with the steering wheel. Uh, it was, I had it on there and I thought it was right and I get in there I tried for about, probably about two hours I worked with this and the camera, on the steering wheel and the camera. And I'd turn the steering wheel and it would be like all floppy around. I was like, that's weird. So I messed with it, messed with it. I finally deleted it and took one out of another truck. I have a Dodge log truck thing. And I put it in there and it worked. I was like, wow, I should have done that in the first place. So then the camera, I had the camera and it kept wanting to clip down in the ground and sticking up under the bottom like it was actually just stay there and then you had to re-click it well before all that it would want to when you get in it it'd shoot a camera beam this way which is odd because the camera was in the back well I fixed that well then it was clipping down to the ground here so it kept doing that and kept doing that so I, I finally I just deleted that camera and I put it in another camera in from the same truck Dodge truck and I got everything working and I would put all the cab lights on here they look pretty good. Uh, you have lights and stuff. And uh, so I got that all working and then I get in the game and then you get inside the cab and I, I push left, it'd look right. So, I mean, it was all backwards, but now it's right. But it's it's kind of a simple thing. I mean, it wasn't, it was like seven, eight hours worth of doing, about seven hours, I think, around, if I can remember to do this truck and that truck and the sound if you guys want to change the start sound to make it go faster just change the start sound that'll make it go really fast I mean as soon as you start it up you can go you won't have to wait but I want that sound you guys can do whatever you want put another one out with that same sound but I'm going to do one with different tires on it uh, I'll probably do one with the lift I'm not real sure yet I'll put one without the stacks in it normal but I'll probably do that in probably about a day or so. I don't know. I'll probably have I'll have it done tonight probably, but uh, they won't be uploaded until tomorrow. So depends how long this goes. But you can uh, pull stuff just fine, and uh, I'll show you real quick actually. All right, now to demonstrate how this thing pulls, you have that big tractor and that tractor. I could put a bigger another big tractor on there, but I don't want to hassle fighting it around. So, well, the load's locked. Let's, let's go ahead and drive this. 
You guys can hear that turbo pretty good. We're going to get some speed up to go up this hill because it, it will dog it a little bit. Let's go this way. There we go. Getting some speed back. So you can kind of hear the turbo. It wants to slide a little bit. But it has enough power to go ahead and correct itself for most of the time. It works pretty well. Actually, let's go. Let's do a U-turn here, and we'll go up on that scale, or whatever that place is over here, that place you dump, and we'll see if the front end comes off the ground. So, okay. <laughs> we'll go up here and see what's going on. That works pretty well. It'll probably bottom out though right here. No, maybe not. Works pretty well. Now we have the back end stuck. Oh well. We'll just go ahead and go on through here. So yeah, this is kind of tests I kind of do when I, before I release them. Well, not drive up a mountain, but Oh no, I broke it. Anyway, I got it stuck now. There we go. It doesn't work that way. Okay. So... Now I have it unstuck. So let's just like disconnect it here and we'll go up the mountain. We'll see how it goes up. Uh oh. Goes up pretty well. It's not the best toy, but it, it's a good work truck. The sounds I'm still not real happy with, but I mean, they'll, they'll do. Anyway, I'll show you guys the trailer uh, on the front end. So let me go ahead and just do that real quick. You can do that one. I would do this one. It doesn't really matter. That was odd. I just like dropped 30 frames. <laughs> okay, so that's uh, one trailer. There's another trailer. So anyway, this is Rambo145. Hope you guys like my videos. Please hit that like button, subscribe, and share. And you guys have a good day. And hope you guys enjoy these. More of these will come out soon, probably in the day. Because I have, I'll get them done tonight or something. And then tomorrow, sometime they'll be uploaded. So anyway, bye. Okay guys, this is Rambo145. I want to just go ahead and show you this. I was going to make a separate video, but I figured I'd just put it on with the Ford trucks. A little bonus thing. So, I've been messing with hay bellers. This is one row. Well, actually, it's two rows, kind of, in a way. But watch this hay fly out. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. That's, 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 that's how you do hay now. It does that with, uh... There's even more when you're, well, this is about like that when you're, uh, got rows from your wheat and stuff. 
So yeah, it just pukes them out of there. It's like bleh, right out of there. Yeah. Ain't that nuts? Man, that's you could actually do some hay and actually enjoy it. Like, this has not been raked up yet. This is what it does. I mean, this ain't as fast as it could be, but... Yeah, ain't that nuts? That's pretty cool, huh? <laughs> you can also do it with round bells, too. You can actually take and, uh... Make them... Um, put it set for round bells like true and it will spit round bells out of that hole it actually glitched through it but it works oh yeah that's some hay there ain't that cool I thought that was interesting that was entertaining Anyway, this is Ramble145. Hope you guys like my videos. Please hit that like button, subscribe, and share. Thanks. Bye.